Hello friends, this is Asrar. In this session, we will discuss about repeater control in ASP.NET. So first, I am going to drag and drop the repeater control from the toolbox. So just I am dragging and dropping into the page and just I am going to create a item template which is repeating the data. So just I am going to create a repeater control template and in that I am just going to create a div tag under the div tag I am going to create a table for repeating the data into the table format so it will look pretty nice so just I am going to create a table in that table I am going to create a table row in that I am going to create first of all I am going to create the table head which is I am going to call as a student ID so just give it as student ID so and for that I am going to create a table row for the upcoming rows so just I am creating two columns in the row just I am copying these lines and pasting it as a five times and just I am going to connect the table as I have a VPRS database in that I have a table called a student details in that you can see that I have a student ID student name registration number date of birth and date of examination and the department so it the data are should be repeated in the repeater so first I am going to call the student ID as a, just I'm going to create as a evaluation as ash eval and in the eval I'm going to create student ID so just pin it first I'm going to pin it and that I'm just uh, writing the student ID as similar in the table data so after that I'm just going to create copying this evaluation and just pasting into my table columns so just one two three four and the five which is the department so just I'm replacing it into the student ID student and name student name and register number and the field date of birth date underscore b underscore b date of birth and the date of examination and the last field is department so as I am going to mentioning it has in the table has a student name student name and the register number register number and date of birth after that date of examination and the last field is the department department okay after mentioning it in the table format I'm just going to code behind as I am going to give a weave code in the weave code I am just connecting the database in the C shop so first I am connecting the database which with SQL connection variable giving the name has a con and equal to new SQL connection and just going to create the string connection string as just getting the properties of the particular database and if you want to this means just to copy this one after that paste it in the double quotation after that I have given the connection to the database so just I'm retrieving the data from table has SQL data adapter SDA and new SQL data adapter I'm going to write the query for retrieving the data so sir, just I'm going to give the query write the query as simple query has a select 
store from student details student details okay and just giving the connection to it after giving the connection and writing the query and just to filling the data in the data table so just I'm creating the data table data table okay naming the variable as a DT new data table okay after getting the creating the data table I'm just filling the data into the fill into the DT after filling I'm just bounding the data into the repeater So just repeater one dot data source and bounding the data has a repeater source data source and the particular DT and then I am just binding the data data bind yes after that I'm just going to create that as just save it and after that I am going to run this just one more thing I have to do is I have created the table CSS class so just I am creating the CSS class as a repeater so rptr after that I am just refreshing it into the browser I will get the perfect alignment it has come so it has uh, only one column so just I am going to mention it has a column span equal to 2 and then just refreshing the my browser as I have got the repeater concept as I expected hope you enjoyed if you like this tutorial don't forget to subscribe